Oh my god. Oh, come on. Man, look at the Oh, look at the good boy. Oh my god. I hate this. Why did I want to do this? You dumbass. Hi. No. Ugh. That idiot you're looking at. Well, that's me. You know, the guy that thought it was a good idea to randomize every single enemy in the game. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. And every single non-key item. I'm just gonna try out some stuff real quick. How about a, it's a rusted coin, dude. Thousand souls. Every single it's item effect game. with no indicator to tell me what they do. I randomized every single weapon in the game. Move set, entirely everything. That's a cool fucking sword, dude. That's a really. I I, I want to use that. And every single fog door. But why? Basically, I took every single randomization option I could think of, and this is what we're left with. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Why did I think this was a good idea again? Either way, welcome to surviving hell. I mean, Dark Souls 3. I mean, hell. It's just torture. It was a bad idea. It's awful. I hate it. Please help. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. And with that, enjoy my suffering as I take you through what it took to beat the game. First things first, we spawn in with our random items and head towards the first fog gate. First place we're warped to is Cathedral of the Deep, and from here we just need to head out and get as many checks done as we can. I decided I might as well look for items here, so I go ahead and head out, head down the stairs, and pull the first lever, opening up a shortcut for later. I then witness a bit of magic before realizing Poison Mist does absolutely nothing, and then I head across the bridge. I find a Duelist Charm, and then I open up the door, get another shortcut for later, before heading out into the graveyard and finding scattered items throughout. Further in, we find our first weapon of the run, the Astora Greatsword. That's awesome. Which turned out to be a little less than desired, honestly. Look at that. Just a shame. Luckily, right afterwards, we get our actual weapon for the run, the Executioner's Greatsword. Really, with a technique like this, you can't question its greatness, honestly. Look at that. Look at that form. After getting something that can actually do damage, we head out of the graveyard and head over to the first bonfire of the run. I notice a shiny behind a group of misfits, but decide I probably shouldn't get involved. I then open the cathedral door, before realizing I've been followed and I'll have to actually engage in my first real fight of the entire run, which seems to go pretty well. Take out the knight, light the bonfire, and then decide to go into the painted world. Just kidding, it's actually the Cemetery of Ash and now we're gonna fight Vort. Oh, sorry, I meant to say Undex Gundir. After beating the big guy, we're gifted the Coiled Sword, which is routed into the game early to avoid us not being able to teleport to bonfires for the entire run. We then open the door and grab the nearby item. Check out the local wildlife, grab another item, and drop off the cliff for yet one more item in this area. Then I mess with the crab a bit, and then I move on to Firelink. We end up in the Cathedral of the Deep, grab one item, and light the nearby bonfire. Then I visit my friend Henry, who is trying to learn to use a bow. After dealing with him, we get the Herald set, and then we head into the nearby fog wall, ending up in the dredge heap and lighting the bonfire before heading out for yet more items. After landing, we get a soul of a oh, wary warrior, oh. right before being interrupted. Oh, oh. I backtrack for a titan slab before getting jump scared. Oh. 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 <laughs> we get our last item, the twinkling titanite, before we escape. 
and then I drop down to continue forward, oh. nearly dying. Oh, okay. I'm like freaking out over here. Down here, I find a lightning urn and a ring of steel protection plus three, which is wonderful. Shortly after, I sneak past an enemy to grab one more item, Soul of a Crestfallen Knight, before heading into the worst area possible with randomly spawning enemies. And it gets a little hectic, but I do manage to get a Titanite chunk and a murky staff from this area. Oh Lord. I decide it's a bit too dangerous here and I should probably go to one of the earlier areas in the game. So I set out to go back to the first fog wall. But along the way, I decided to test out my strength at something a little earlier. Oh. So back through the first fog wall, ending up at the Cathedral of the Deep, and then, instead of running through the entire area again, I simply turn around and go back the way I came. And lucky us, it's Firelink Shrine. We now have the ability to teleport between bonfires, upgrade our weapons, and level up. So the first thing we do is level up. Now with the fact that weapons have randomized stats, I decided I should go with the quality build because I really don't know what I'll be able to use. Nothing left to do in Firelink, I go back through the fog wall. Ending up in Anorlando, back through the fog wall. Cemetery of Ash, and I think you can see where this is going now. We finish the loop through Cathedral of the Deep, back to Firelink, and I try a different exit, which then takes me to the painted world of Ariandel. Ariandel? Light the bonfire, and I think you get the idea here. We're just looking for items. So far, we're pretty much avoiding most enemies. We grab an item, fight Knight, kill Knight, take his weapon. Grab an item, another one. Ooh, one more. I'm suddenly rudely interrupted, and since Titanite Lizards actually drop what they're supposed to, I decide to take him out. And since I seem to be doing so much damage, I'm able to knock him back pretty much instantly, nearly deleting him, and then the fight goes pretty well from there. Not really anything bad happens, and I quickly make short work of him. Loser! After that, we grab our souls, grab another item, and then I decide to get this guy off my back. You're a loser. After that rousing success, I head further into the area to the nearby tower and find a weapon with a much more consistent hitbox. A wood battle axe? What's that like? Oh, it's a, it's a real weapon. He's holding it a little sideways, but, you know, he's using it correctly. I continue on, but notice an enemy that will follow you to the ends of the earth, so I go ahead and fight him. And I'll just let the moment speak for itself. And he has a lot of armor, you know? Okay. Wow, backstab did nothing? Why did backstab do nothing? No, okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, I'm not fighting you. Hell no. After the tactical retreat, I head to the nearby bonfire. I light it, I warp, and then immediately head to level up. Pumping points in the decks and strength, and after doing that, I start testing out some of the weapons I've picked up over the course of the run. The first was a staff, the second one the test data swords I've been holding the whole time. The third, the winged axe, which should be two weapons. And finally the rapier longsword to finish it off, which has an issue. Oh yeah, this longsword weighs 20 pounds, I forgot. After that, we go to the Cleansing Chapel. At this point, I'm just testing out fog walls to see where they'll take me so I can try to make some progression in the game. And the right archway of the Cleansing Chapel takes me straight to Udex Gundir. Or Vort, I guess. I, oh wow, he doesn't even do damage. I've outleveled this man. After that, we do the obvious thing, light the bonfire, and then head outside to use the banner, which we don't have. Well, with nowhere to go, we go through the fog wall and end up at the Road of Sacrifices. And our enemy this time is... 
I don't know the name of that boss. Whatever, we beat up the Crystal Sage, slowly pushing him into the wall because he's a frail old man that can't do anything about it. Unfortunately for me, this boss had a secret technique. What? Huh? What? Well, now the Crystal Sage is in the wall and there's nothing I can do about it. Upset, I try to use a random item, but of course it does some random effect, so I decide to leave. Back in Firelink, I try out some items to kind of see what I'm working with. And it turns out that blue grass gives 20,000 souls, so I'm gonna use this to get myself some free levels. And with that, we get a little bit more strength and dexterity, a little bit of vigor, and some endurance. You know what that means. We're gonna go beat up an old man. And with that, we're gifted the soul of the Crystal Sage. We light the bonfire and then we try out one of the doors. And when you know it, we're immediately greeted with Pontiff Soul. Solavon. Pontiff Slavon. So me and Pontiff Slavon start duking it out, but he brought along a new ability of spawning minions, and I wasn't exactly prepared for this fight. And although I give it my best effort and get kinda close, I eventually run out of healing and die to him. And with that loss under our belt, instead of doing an immediate rematch, I head through a different fog gate which takes me to the painted world and straight to a dead end with nothing at the bottom except for a pyromancy flame. Lucky for us, we just lost all our souls, so we just used the dark sign. And then we try the loop again, only this time instead of heading down, we simply turn around and we end up at the high wall of Lothric with a few friends nearby. And I decide to fight him, but I find out I'm not going to be doing damage here. So I just go ahead and run away and head through the nearby fog gate. This time appearing at Arch Dragon Peak. I immediately get a Titanite scale, then a Twinkling Titanite before dropping down to go fight the boss, which, as usual, is not quite what I expected. Where's your boss, boss? Oh. You're not a boss, though. After making quick work of him and being confused by the fact that it should have only been bosses swapped with bosses, I move on and get a large soul of a wary warrior. Which, lucky for me, was apparently cursed, because now I'm here. And this fresh hell is much more than I was prepared for at the moment. Oh, no, come on. Rude. You are dirt! After getting humbled by two different bosses, I decided to just keep exploring. Crossing the bridge, opening the door, and finally lighting the bonfire. Which, unfortunately for me, is a cursed bonfire. After dealing with him, we run outside and get a hollow gem, and then we break the bridge and climb down. And honestly, I've beaten this DLC at least three times, so really shouldn't have any issue with this part. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? To add insult to injury, we can't even enjoy the bonfire we spawn at. And for a while, we enjoy this little dance we're having before I get sick of it forcing me to stand up and I just teleport out with a dark sign. And from Firelink, I just go back to Rope Bridge Cave to scavenge for items like the rat I am. I drop down instead of using the ladder, grab a shriveling stone, before avoiding all the enemies, sliding down. Then we grab some budding green blossoms. We pass by a mythical entity as an archer shoots fake arrows through us. I grab a large soul, kill the knight, large tide knight, up the ladder, grab an ember, and then I accidentally commit a hate crime. Moving on from that, I light the bonfire. I grab a large soul, and then I face my least favorite enemy in the entire game. After dealing with the walking headache, I get a Titanite shard off his body, and then I jump down to get the crow's quills. Which, due to its terrible scaling and needing 26 strength, I'm not going to be using. And terrible damage. 
Unfortunately, at this point, I failed to record about 20 minutes worth of gameplay. However, you really only missed me finding a spiked mace, and I did a bit of a wardrobe change. And the spiked mace has bleed, fire damage, and pretty decent physical damage, so it's definitely the best weapon I've gotten during the entire run so far. So to catch you up, I grab my souls, and then I pretty much just clear out this entire area, because at this point, I'm one-shotting everything with this mace. Then I activate the contraption, opening up a fog gate for later. I grab the Wilhelm set and leave the area. Both enemies on the way out drop Twinkling Titanite, and then I go through the fog wall. Unfortunately, this fog wall goes to Arch Dragon Peak, so I'm kind of trapped and I'm forced to go back the way I came. Which, lucky me, I go straight back to Arch Dragon Peak, and at this point, I decide I should probably just go to Fire Link and try to upgrade my weapon. But of course, I've got to level up first, so I pump some more points into Vitality and Vigor. Now it's time to upgrade my weapon, but I used all my souls, so now I need to use a random item to try to see if I can fix that problem. We do Greed and Blossoms first, and they give 400 souls. Then a Black Fire Bomb, which does nothing. Lightning Urn, does nothing. Dung Pie, nothing. Undead Hunter's Charm, gives 3000 souls. Dual Charm, reverses hollowing. Lucky Coin, increase stamina. And Homeward Bones, apparently do what they're supposed to. News to me. Next up are Souls. Fading Soul does a fireball effect. Soul of Large Corpse gives 10,000 souls. Large Undead Corpse does nothing. And Traveler Soul gives 2,500. Wary Warrior does nothing. Crestfallen Knight does nothing. Large Crestfallen Knight does, again, nothing. And then I used the Dragon Stone, which has no effect. Finally, I used a White Branch, which supplies stone skin, and then I upgrade my weapon. Immediately afterwards, I get two Cracked Red Eye Orbs, and then I level up one more time, putting a point into Vitality. Finally, I check the shop and find some nice items. This weighs zero? Holy shit. Wait a second. That shit weighs zero. I'm becoming a walking nightmare. And with preparations done, time to get back out there. Sub Charles. Through the fog wall and straight to Lothric Castle. You grab a soul, down the elevator, drop down, grab a Titanite chunk. Now, I know there's about three items underneath this pillar here, so I kind of wait for my opening and go in. No! I got what I wanted, though! We add another death and head back. No, That's not good. After a quick reset, all is good, and we continue on. First, we grab our souls again, pretty flawlessly. With far too many enemies tailing me, I simply run further into the area instead of exploring, just headed for the fog wall. And this one takes us to the Grand Archives. We light the bonfire, and then we check the door. Oh no. With nowhere to go, I head straight through the fog wall into Irithyll, clearing out two nearby enemies for some twinkling tide night. While exploring the courtyard, I notice some numbers off in the distance, and I decide to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the Drain Twin Spears, kill the knight that killed them, and then we pretty much just scavenge the area for items like usual, killing a few enemies here and there, before heading down to the secret bonfire to kill the two rejects there, getting us a ring of favor. And rest assured, I instantly put the fat ring on. Now we go back up the ladder and continue our journey. We grab a large Titanite shard along the way and then take out our first enemy. <laughs> grab our souls and then we take out everything along the way and head towards the shortcut. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh my god, my heart. After opening up that, we climb back up, drop down, and get the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Then we continue on, opening up an illusionary wall to get the brass set. I pull the lever and then I head up top to Anor Londo. 
lighting the bonfire before we continue into the area. We grab a giant's coal along the way, and then we try to take out what we can. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm out. I'm leaving. Fuck this. I'm out. Fuck this shit. After escaping from that, we are met with the untended graves. Uh-huh. What? What is that? Um, uh, is that Freya? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Come on! Hello, champion gun deer. You're no pushover. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, no, 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 I'm not ready for that. That's a bit much for me right now. With yet another success under our belt, I head back to the fog wall near the Anerlondo shortcut, which takes us to Arch Dragon Peak, which with this area done, I simply turn around and we end up in Lothric Castle. And this time we're gonna be fighting the dragon from the optional area, Dorpheus or something. And he seems to be having some issues, but he gets over it. Oh God, oh God. Okay, 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 we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Who brings a baby to a fight? Okay. That's why I'm hold I'm holding back. <laughs> another day, another success. So this time I decide to go back to an earlier area in the game and actually finish off the Cathedral of the Deep. Which for the most part, this area isn't too bad. Everything's fairly weak, but there are a few weird occurrences here and there. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh my God. We open up the shortcut, go up the elevator, and yeah. I don't, whatever's up there, I don't think I need it. <laughs> okay, um, hmm. Yeah, about that. I open up the shortcut and then we head back up. We grab a few pieces to the drain set and then we head through the fog wall. I end up in the painted world, so I reset, go to Arch Dragon Peak's second floor and it takes us straight to the Ring City boss fight. Who is it? You ain't got no legs, dude. After what is essentially a non-boss fight, I just go through one of the three fog walls I've gotten. I do equip some homeward bones to be safe, and this time I'm at the profane capital. Again? Really? Are you easier this time? Are you gonna one-shot me? What's going on here? I'm getting out of here. No. Nah. Nah. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what? I was lied to. Homeward bones apparently do what they're supposed to. I don't see me winning this. Shut up, baby. Well, well, with that, it's time for an upgrade. So I use all the homeward bones I've been collecting throughout the run, and I pump points pretty much into everything. I level up my weapon, and then it's back to Arch Dragon Peak. This time we head through the bottom fog wall, straight to Firelink, to Cathedral, and then back through to Cathedral again, getting a new bonfire. We go through our new option, straight to Arch Dragon Peak. And I pretty much just go through this entire area. Nothing oh, what the really important happens. I take out Havel and I get some useless items before looping back to where I started. 
So here we go again through the upper fog wall and this time back the way we came and we pop out at the road of sacrifices which has no key items that I will need for the run so I just leave. Now we pop out at Yerithil, light the bonfire and back through. This time at a dead end. Are you confused yet? Because I certainly am trying to keep up with where I have and haven't been. Well with another dead end we head back and then we go to Arch Dragon Peak. And then we do the usual, through the fog wall, ring city, different fog wall, dredge heat. Oh no. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. After that, we go back to the dredge heap and turn around, this time ending up in Lothric Castle. I drop down grab the Lothric banner, and then I take her out to do the boss fight. Which is not difficult whatsoever. I light the bonfire through the fog wall, and I end up at yet another Archdragon Peak fog wall before turning around and ending up at Lothric Castle. Lighting the bonfire and just heading through the area. We deal with things here and there, but for the most part, we don't get anything important. We pull the lever to open up the shortcut gate and then get caught off guard. With another one added to the counter, we take out the knight and then look for the bonfire. Where's the bonfire? I'm not crazy, right? There's a bonfire here. After giving up, I make my way down the shortcut elevator and go through a fog wall, ending up in Irithil. Oh, what the? Jeez, mm, dude, I'm. This is the worst horror game. I light the bonfire and then I head further into the area. I noticed a commotion on my way down, so I try to use that to go up the ladder, but a little too late. After giving up on that area, I go for a nearby fog wall that's a little bit closer to the bonfire. Going through, I end up at the untended graves and I immediately turn around. This time at the catacombs. I'm... This was a mistake. This area is in fact now off limits for all eternity. Time for another fog wall, this time the Irithil boss door. And our new destination is the Ring City, which is pretty much devoid of life. I die once to an upside down spider before getting the black witch set, which I'll be wearing for a very long time. I get to another bonfire and then I swap weapons to something a little different. I fight my way past a boss, getting nothing, make my way past a dragon, then I have a short run in with a spider before I fall down and we try a new area. But then tragedy strikes. Hmm. After a quick reset, everything's fine, and I go to take out Pontiff, who, upon a revisit, isn't that bad, considering some of his attacks don't even hit. After beating him, we do the obvious thing, putting points into strength and dex, and then we level up our weapon five times. Now we try out our new options and end up at the other side of the room. What? I turn around, end up in Lothric, turn around again and end up in the Ring City boss fight, which isn't a fight. I quickly finish her off and head through the door. Oh, 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 Lord of Cinder. Uh oh, I don't think I was ready for Lord of Cinder. Uh, maybe I'm ready. Ugh, God, I suck. After finding out I'm not ready, I head back to another boss fight to get some revenge. And this time around, I'm doing a lot more damage to him, and it makes the fight pretty much a non-issue. Is that a Lord's Soul now? It's... We made progress! After finally making some progress, I head to go use the banner. Oh! <laughs> you know, I really expected to end up in the Undead Settlement, but this fight goes fine. It's a little weak. Oh, gun here. If I die, I ain't dealing with you. We ain't letting gun deer nothing. And I'll spare you the headache of waiting through all of these loading screens as I endlessly go through fog gates just trying to find something new. 
This section of the video will be fun. <laughs> now we're here, now we're here, and now we're here, now we're here. And after a bit of meta commentary, we finally come across another boss. Okay, another boss. This time, teleporty bro. We take out the boss, which he's fairly easy considering he can't even teleport, ruining some of his kit, and we get a nice surprise. 200 and... Did I read that right? Do I have 200,000 souls? What the fuck happened? I... What the fuck happened? Holy shit! Well, this is gonna make the next boss fight easy. I have no shame either. And with that nice boost of souls, I put a lot of points into vigor and strength before moving on to do some more boss fights. First up for the rematch is Freya, who is still a little difficult, but I do much better this time. Until I don't. I make my way back for a quick reset, and then I take her out. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't look like she's going anywhere, so I roam around the boss room before finally jumping off the cliff to do a reset. Which, long story short, it doesn't work, and she does nothing while laying in the middle of the room until you go near the entrance, which respawns her, beating her again, does nothing, so we leave. This time returning to the old Demon King boss room to go through the fog door, ending up in the catacombs, turn around, and the dredge heap. What the? What the hell? Like many of the boss fights recently, this one isn't a problem. We make quick work of it and move on. Lighting the bonfire, leveling up, and then going to the painted world of Ariandel to go down the ladder, getting to the bottom of the area before lighting the last bonfire and going through the fog wall. And at this point, tragedy struck, where my game is now infinitely crashing due to obviously some issues with some of the mods or enemy placement for the area that I went into, which means this video is done until part two where I have to randomize all of the enemies again just to fix the problem, which means some stuff will change, but ideally, as long as nothing goes wrong, the other seeds will stay the same, so none of the items will change or effects or weapons or anything like that. Worst case, it all changes and we go with it anyway. But if you enjoyed this, really, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have anything you want to say about it, please comment below. If you like this type of video, let me know. If you hated it, if you thought it dragged on, I ever explained something. Whatever it is, I'm always looking for feedback because it really helps me improve and see where I need to work on and or what I need to work on. So again, with that, have a nice day.